All right, I'm sifting in here. This is just a continuation of my last video um, where I did the giveaway. I'm sifting in here. I just found a nutting stain that I gave away in a broken Madison point that would have been just killer. It's kind of worthy of restoring. It's so nicely made and thin. But a few screens later, there's a dip in the base clay right here, and everything that's come out of this bank's laying right in here, and it's probably been laying here for 20 years. It's It's got like a mud layer on it. A few inches of mud, but the layer of gravel and stuff's right on the hard pan right under it. And look at this. Oh, folks, look at this. This is some kind of ornament. Oh, this is nice. Something Mississippian. It might be an ear spool. It's kind of water-worn. But man, is that nice. It's worked. It's sandstone. But it's harder sandstone. It's a little bit irregular. It's tumbled around here. It's laid in the wash. But that is one heck of a find. That's all, that's gonna look great in my Mississippian frame right in the middle. It's some kind of an ornament, I'd say. I, I'm not sure, but that is awesome. Later, that's a unique piece again. All right, here's this piece. It's real fine grain sandstone. I looked at it all under the my microscope, and it's it's drilled. It's awesome, and I I don't think it's an ear spool. I think it's some kind of ornament. You can see here, I'd say that's how it was suspended. It could be some kind of pendant. It could have went on a bow. It could have went on some kind of shaft of a spear, an arrow. Who knows? It could be like a weaving weight. The Mississippian culture even had textiles. So it's hard to tell what this is, but I love it. And here's some of the other highlights of the week. That's a really good piece. Um, but this is what I'm finding there. These are the pieces I'm proud of. Um... I put this here because I called it a pentagonal base, but you can clearly see it's a Jack's Reef, and it's made of Carter Cave. They're made of that. Carter Cave and Coshocton. And, you know, that's probably some kind of Coshocton type flint there, Upper Mercer. It's black. This would have been, and you can see the thinness, it's a Jack's Reef. And then these fine Madisons, and that cool ornament. That's a pretty good week. Um to say the least these madisons are just sick they're hard to find because they are so thin and even the jacks are easy hard to find they're so thin um it's a good look into the mississippian cultural period going right into the madison points from the jacks reef if they were not being made at the same time i think they were on this site but there you go. I hope you enjoyed this so far. Yeah, I just got this in my screen. That's a piece of limestone. Look at that banding on that. I'm going to take that. Play the... All right. About every rock I'm turning over in here where I found that ear spool looking thing is a nutting stone. I started another video already. And I don't even know how many I found here. At least 10. Look at this one. Let me wait. It's really fired. There's a nice pit. It's a pitted stone. And there's other holes on the other side. We'll take it off of this in the last giveaway. That's cool. It's an artifact. I got another Madison sticking out here. It's not long after I found the ear spool. See it right here sticking out? Let's see what we got. And my neat tip ding. Still ain't bad. Little piece of the cortex of the river call. It's beat up though. But still not bad. Later. I stopped on another place right by my boat. I get out, I see this weight on the bottom. That's definitely a little fired bullet of some kind and it's real old. Right there. It's impacted something. It's a little musket ball. It might even be, I'd say it's a pistol one. That's pretty cool. You see these right away. See hit the colors of the rocks? The white oxidized lead just pops. Good place to melt tech. I'm just into the air heads more. See these big horse flies? That's about the body's about the size of a quarter. They've been biting me all day. You gotta deal with that too. I just killed this one. He's going out for fish bait behind me. I'm surface hunting. I've got bit 10 times here on this site by him on the back. Didn't feel too hot. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, see this? 
this film on the water, that could be toxic algae. There's some bad stuff in this river. That ain't good. You don't want to get that on you. That's why I always wear hip waders. And if I'm around that, I wear gloves too. I got them in my boot. You don't want to come in contact with that stuff. But look here, this is a learning thing. Water's dropped three or four inches overnight. Waves hit this. Flake off the manufacture of an ancient artifact. Tiny finishing flake of Kashokton. It's that's upper Mercer right there. There's some Jack's Reef stuff in here. And then you come over into here and you start seeing some of the gravel showing up. It's a little bit sanded in, but there could be a point from the waves hitting laying flat out on the beach. Just like somebody placed it there in the night. It's just hitting look here. There's them pieces, but look. Tiny finishing flake of Kashokton. Another one. There's one right there. There's another one. That's all from pressure flakes off point. See, here's one. Right here. Right here's another one. And I'm just looking this alive. I was hoping to see a point, but I don't see nothing. I very rarely find one here, but I find flakes of flint. Um, I will get back at you. I'm going to hit several spots, see what we can come up with. Tell you what, I just cannot get off the broken ones here, but I'm finding good ones. But man, Look right here. This is right where I was sifting. Yeah, there's a chunk too. But right here is a Madison drill and just the very tip's broken off. Oh, daggone it. This would have been a day maker. Look at this, another drill. I'll put this in the giveaway that I got going. In my last upload, I'm giving away a bunch of stuff I found here. You know, I, I found more than enough for myself. Nice points. That's still pretty decent, a little drill. That'll be the second one I found here. And there's one in the giveaway, so there's another piece. All right, we'll look at this little drill here real fast. That's a shame, Madison drill. And in my last day, it's use. Um, in my last, vi one of my last videos, I found this. I'm not sure, a couple days ago I found it. Looks exactly the same. Just found feet apart on that site here. Look at them. Get over to the... Look at that. Well, I just wanted to show you that. Both of these in my last video, I'm doing a giveaway. I'll throw this one in too. I just wanted to show it to you up close. Mississippian Cultural Period Madison Drills. Just a barely little bit off the tip. Later. I flipped this rock over the last time I was here. Look, one, all little drill holes. There's nutting stain holes there. Piece of hard stain right there. Let's see what's on the other side of this. Nothing. But that's another. Another artifact. How many of them's come off this little place? Holy mackerel. I'm pulling my kayak down here. I had my GoPro in it. This thing has a strap for your head and it, you know, it's 90 out here right now. And it's early in the morning. It's 90 already. But I got a point, a little Madison in my uh, screen. Here we go. I'm almost there. I was just kind of working my way down the shore. Um, this Madison here, along with the little drill I just found a little bit ago, will be in the giveaway. See, there's, looks like a flake. Um, will be in my last video, I'm doing a giveaway for points and nutting stones. All you have to do is go comment on it for an entry. I'll pick a winner in my next video, just here probably in the day. But right here it is. It's all there. It's not bad. It's paper thin. It's a nice little true bow and arrow point. I'll give this one away to you too. It'll be added right in with that stuff in the last video. That ain't bad. Little point. I don't feel like looking here no more. This musket ball was just in here. I found out last night. The clip will be in this video. It's a fire pistol bullet, I think. But I got one little perfect Madison. It's just, it's kind of nice, you know, but it doesn't compare to these few I found. But it's still okay. It's a perfect artifact. And that's a heartbreaker. There's two little flakes of pottery. Look at some of this material. Look at that finishing flake, red and white, man. I'd like to see what that was made, flaked off of. 
some cores and stuff like that but i will get back i'm gonna go look an older sake now for a little bit and go i gotta get go mow more for my mom so i gotta cut it short today this is about an hour's worth of sifting around it's a good bit of stuff for an hour but Look, she's in here on the bed with me. I'm going to take a nap. Look here. This little squirrel buddy. Tell him, squirrel man, you're taking a nap too. You like coming in, watching TV, and taking a nap. Look at this good boy. Look here, folks. Squirrel buddy. Look here. This is what he likes right here. Tell them you like ear rubs and cheek rubs and belly rubs. You're just like a little dog. Who is this good boy right here? Getting ear rubs. Like he's got a little bit of dried strawberry on him. You're going to have to get bathed up, squirrel man. You're even sticky from eating watermelon and strawberries. All right, I hope you enjoy the video. Look here. Look, he's... Here, you want an armpit rub? You gonna show him? Here. Get up here. He was lifting his leg up. He likes... You want rubbed right under there? I guess he's not gonna do it now. Look. Huh? Look here. You're this good boy. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.